a note on Ilf Shipetrov, uh, Ilf and Petrov, uh, Skane, 12 chairs. Um, this is a wonderful, uh, fantastic book. with uh, a jocular tone, um, a wonderful humor, but also with a satire. Um, we're talking Russia after the revolution, the Soviet Union, and we have the two worlds uh, clashing at times. Um, I, for one, having lived under communism, brought here by the Soviets. I hate the new Russia, that is communism, Soviet domination, uh, hegemony, Putin of today and all he means. And I feel a, a nostalgic regret for, for the Russia of, uh, of the great writers, um, wonderful Russian hounds. I have uh, three left, I had five, I still have five, and about 25 pu puppies spread through the country which gave birth to others. I know, a hundred hounds uh, all coming from here, Russian hounds. And in this 12 chairs, I'm on the side of the old guard, so to say. Even if they have their idiosyncrasies, they have their frailties, and at times it's a complex um, situation. Um, the uh, the view of these uh, men coming from the old aristocracy is both, uh, in, in my view, is both tender and uh, kind and also uh, a satire. It may also have to do with the, with the um, censorship of the time. You couldn't present these men as noble, good, kind, uh, representing as they did the old ways. From a creative standpoint, it's also much more rewarding to have complex characters. And besides, it's the story in the storytellers for the children, where you have. Snow White, uh, uh, well, in, in, even in the productions of super productions of Hollywood of today, you have Spider Man, Superman, cartoon characters uh, all over the place with their uh, powers and uh, uh, ability to fly, to fight uh, armies and bring good or create havoc. That's, that's something else. Uh, but here we have, <laughs> we have men who um, belong to the aristocracy. The, the main the plot is uh, we have to recuperate a fortune which is hidden in one of these 12 chairs. Uh, they've been first in a home for the retired. And now we have to uh, trace them back uh, to see where the jewelry, where the riches are hidden. And we have a character from the new world, so to say, a man, an intrepid, uh, um, uh, uh, a young, uh, a young man who um, is both, so to say fighting the old, criticizing uh, his partner, who is an old uh, uh, 
member of the aristocracy, a better off class, so to say. And um, at the same time, he is trying to speculate the frailties of the new. He's trying to become rich himself. And this is a, a joyride where plenty of um, uh, funny adventures uh, take place. <laughs>